Good morning. This screencast is about working with signed numbers. So first we're going to talk about how we add and subtract signed numbers. First case is if the signs of our numbers are exactly the same. If they are, we're simply going to add the values of the two numbers and keep the sign that the numbers have. So for example, if we had 3 plus 9, these are both positive numbers, so we would add the 3 and the 9 and get 12. And since they're both positive, we're just going to keep the sign and our solution would be positive 12. If we wanted to add negative 4 plus negative 2, the signs are both negative, so we'll take the 4 and the 2 and add them together and that would give us 6. But the signs of both of these numbers are negative, so we bring the negative sign along, and negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6. Now, if the signs are different, then what we're going to do is we're going to actually subtract the two numbers, and our answer will keep the sign of the larger of those two numbers. So for example, if we wanted to add 3 plus negative 8, the signs are different, so we're just going to do 8 minus 3, which gives us 5, and then the bigger number has a negative sign, that's 8 is negative, so that means our answer will be negative. Let's try another example. If we had, say, negative 2 plus a positive 7, again, we're going to subtract the two numbers. 7 minus 2 is 5, and the larger number is 7, which is positive, so we will keep the positive sign, and our answer will be positive 2. Now, if we're thinking about subtraction, what you need to think about subtraction is, subtraction is really just adding the negative of a number. So if we wanted to talk about, say, 10 minus 7, we can think of that as 10 plus a negative 7, and then we're just going to follow our rules for working with signed numbers. So since the signs are different, we subtract the two numbers, 10 minus 7 is 3, and the 10 is the larger of the two numbers, and it's positive, so our answer would retain the sign of the larger number, and we'd have a positive 3. Now, let's say we had the problem 4 minus 9. Well, that's the same thing as saying 4 plus a negative 9. So we're adding two numbers with different signs. So we subtract the two numbers. 9 minus 4 is 5. And then the 9 is the larger of the two numbers, and it's negative. So our answer would also be negative. Now, I'd like you to pause the screencast and try these problems. If you're confused, feel free to stop and rewind the screencast and listen to the previous explanation before you try these. But please try these before you move on. Now, if we want to multiply or divide sign numbers, it's even easier. All we need to think about when we're doing multiplication and division with sign numbers is to count the negative signs. When we count the negative signs in the problem, if we come up with an odd number of negative signs, then our answer is going to be negative. If we come up with an even number of negative signs, then our answer will be positive. Watch how this works. If we wanted to do 3 times negative 2, we simply think about 3 times 2 being 6, and then we count the number of negative signs in the problem. This is positive. We only have one negative sign, and since 1 is an odd number, that means our answer will be negative. Let's try negative 14 divided by 2. Well, 14 divided by 2 is 7. We count the number of negative signs in the problem. There's only 1 on the 14, and since 1 is an odd number, our answer will be negative. Now, what if we had negative 5 times negative 4? Well, 5 times 4 is 20 and we're going to count the negative signs, and we have two negative signs in this problem, one on the 5 and one on the 4. Since 2 is an even number, that means our answer will be an even number. Let's try another one. If we had negative 18 divided by negative 3, well, 18 divided by 3 is 6. Counting the number of negative signs, we can see we have one, two negative signs. 2 is an even number, which means our answer will be positive. Let's try one more problem. What if we wanted to do negative 2 times positive 4 times negative 3 times negative 1? String a whole bunch of numbers together and multiply them. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, 
8 times 3 is 24 times 1 is 24. And now we need to decide if the answer is positive or negative. So we're going to count the number of negative signs. We have 1, 2, 3 negative signs. 3 is an odd number. And if we have an odd number of negative signs, then our answer has to be negative. So we get negative 24 as a solution. Now pause the screencast and try these four problems. If you're struggling, go back and watch the screencast again before you try the problems. Thanks.